Hello guys, hope you all are doing good. Recently, IIT Kanpur has conducted GATE exams, which is basically an entrance exam to get admission for pursuing your MTech at IITs and NITs. And many of the institutions, many of the coaching institutions must have just released out their tentative answer keys. And you must have gone through it and you will be having an approximate idea regarding what the rank or what scores you will be getting. So definitely for some people the exam must have went really well but uh, there will be majority of people for whom the exam didn't really go, went well. So for such people there's been another option to explore for higher studies uh, which is masters at Pittsfilani. So in this video I have just uh, introduced you about how the masters program is being conducted at Pittsfilani. So guys do check this video out and do share it with your friends who really needs it. So let's start. So let's see what are the modes of uh, admission to get into bits. Basically there are two modes. First is you can just apply via your GATE score or GPAT score. And uh, another is even if you are not GATE qualified uh, then you can just apply for uh, this test that is BITS HD test. This test is conducted by BITS itself uh, for getting into three of its campuses that are situated at Pilani, Hyderabad and Goa. For any specialization, uh, the 50% of the seats uh, will be just filled up based on the merit list prepared considering the GATE schools and the rest of the 50% seats will be just filled up uh, based on the merit list which will be prepared by considering the bits HD test scores of the students and for applying via this gate the last three years gate score will be considered valid uh, for the notification of this test you usually arrive in the last week of April or first week of May considering the previous year trends so just keep checking the website of bits HD for bits HD for just further details about this year's test So the basic eligibility criteria if you want to apply through any of the two modes discussed earlier uh, it uh, is necessary that you must be having 60% in your qualifying degree examination that is uh, bachelor's now this criteria was mentioned in the previous year uh, bits HD 2022 brochure so we can expect uh, the same to be followed in this year's test also or they can just make some little changes in this criteria so this will be more cleared once the brochure for 2023 bits hd is out so, uh, until then we can just consider this to be the minimum criteria of eligibility to be able to apply for the bits hd test or via get scores so the course duration of this uh, mtech program is for two years every year there will be two semesters so for two years there are four semesters in total for the first three semesters uh, there is a course curriculum of some compulsory as well as some elective courses to be complete and in this way these three semesters will be done and in the fourth semesters you will be getting option to go uh, for any of these one either to go for internship or to stay on campus and go for desertion now if this desertion is nothing but you have to work under a professor on a particular project and you need to prepare your thesis and you need to present it at the end and internship is nothing but a normal in office internship uh, both of these will be just done for six month duration in this way uh, the complete two year of uh, mtech course is planned So under this uh, program, there are two degrees being offered. First is ME and second is MPOM. And under these degrees, uh, the specializations offered are listed here in this table. You can just pause the video and check out the list. Uh, this uh, is basically nothing but uh, this table shows like at which campus which uh, specializations are available to pursue from. This data I have just taken from the previous year bit Certi brochure. Uh, for this year the same might continue or uh, some changes can be there in this year's data 
uh, which will be more cleared once the brochure for this year is out so the expected fees for two years is somewhere around 12 to 13 lakhs including your academic charges and your hostel and mess charges as well uh, there is one facility provided by BITS for every BITSian student to avail the scholar loan uh, which will be at uh, discounted rates. You can just take advantage of uh, this as well and for every semester uh, you will have to pay the fees at the starting of each semester in mostly two installment. Now the stipend you will be getting here uh, is based on the modes of admission. If you are admitted via gate uh, then you will be getting two stipends per month that is the gate stipend of 12,400 per month and second one is the bits as the stipend of 13,400 per month and if you are admitted uh, via your bits as the score then you will be eligible for only one stipend which is uh, bits as the stipend of rupees 13,400 per month now in this category even if you have uh, just qualified gate but still uh, you will be not getting any gate stipend here because uh, the admission you are getting into bits is not based on your gate score but is based on your bits as the score so in this category uh, you won't be getting any gate stipend even if you are gate qualified so yes this was everything i wanted to share with you guys within next couple of weeks i'll be uploading one more video in which i'll be sharing my experience about the bits hd test and every single thing i know about this bits hd test now uh, if you found the content of this video useful do like the video and share it among your friends who might find it useful as well and do subscribe the channel for more such videos so thank you for watching it out have a good day